Apparently, social music discovery is what's in. I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and this is a first look at Twitter music on iOS. We all knew Twitter music was nearing release, and today it officially launched for non-celebrities. It's available for desktop at music.twitter.com, but Twitter also released an application for iOS, the hashtag music app. Essentially, it's a social music discovery app, or an application that lets you know what all of your Twitter friends are listening to, so long as they care to participate. It also shows what's trending across the 500 million strong social network. When you install the iOS app, you are prompted to log into your Twitter account, and a Spotify or audio account if you have one. Then you are taken to the feed view. Twitter music tracks users' music habits by using the now playing hashtag, and it separates that data across four categories. Popular, Emerging, Suggested, and Now Playing. The left most popular feed is exactly what you would expect. The most tweeted songs across the network, where you'll see widely known artists like Maroon 5, Rihanna, or City in Color. To the right of the popular feed is Emerging, where you will find lesser known artists and bands that get tweeted about. One more page over is the Suggested feed, which recommends related artists to those that you may follow. Unfortunately, this page apparently takes some time to propagate, and we couldn't get it to work immediately as we weren't initially following any artists. The next to last page is the Now Playing page, which shows a feed of music that the people you follow are tweeting about. And in the top right corner is a search button where you can search for other artists. From any of these pages, you can tap on any track to listen to a preview through iTunes. However, if you've logged into a Spotify or audio account, you can listen to full tracks which effectively turns the app into a DJ playlist based on either popular music, emerging music, or your friend's tastes. You can quickly switch between tracks and use the application basically as another way to indulge Spotify or audio. If you don't have an account with either of these services though, you can open the track in iTunes for purchase. The rightmost page is your Twitter profile, which also displays any recognized artists that you follow. With Twitter music, there are some caveats worth mentioning. It's only available for iOS and through desktop browsers for now, but an Android application is in the making. And we did run into a few initial glitches. Some tracks, for example, were unavailable to be played, ones that we tweeted about directly from Spotify. Hopefully a future update will fix that. The application itself is beautifully designed, but the idea of social music discovery isn't totally new. We've already seen this through Spotify or Blast.fm. However, Twitter music has plenty of potential and so far, we really like the new service. That about does it. So if you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and follow us in all the normal places, Twitter, Google Plus, and Facebook at Pocket Now. You can also find me on Twitter and find out what I'm listening to at Casper Tech. I'm Taylor Martin, and I will see you next time. <laughs>